All right, we are going to go ahead and get started. Good morning and welcome to today's webinar to prepare for next month's USAID Bureau for Food Security Policy Division Partners Meeting. My name is Julie McCarty and I'm a Knowledge Management Specialist with the USAID Bureau for Food Security and I will be facilitating this webinar today. I'm here in our webinar control room with two people whose names I'm sure you know well by now. Jeff Hill, Director for Policy with the Bureau for Food Security, and Ed Salt with Training Resources Group, who will be our facilitator for the partners meeting in December. We decided to activate our webcams just for a few minutes here at the beginning uh, to allow you to, to see us here in the webinar room. So wave hello, Jeff and Ed. <laughs> Although we will be uh, shutting those off for the main presentations. So they'll be on for just a couple of minutes here. So both uh, Jeff and Ed will be speaking today to provide some important pre-meeting information to all of you. Before we get started, I'd just like to encourage those of you who haven't done so yet to introduce yourselves in the chat box. Let us know your organization and your city. Please feel free to say hello to your colleagues or to ask questions of the other participants. We like to encourage a conversational chat box in our webinars. In addition, you will use the chat box to ask any questions you have about the upcoming policy partners meeting. After the presentations, we will try to answer as many of your questions as we can before noon Eastern time. If we can't answer them on this webinar, uh, Ed will follow up with any necessary information. This meeting today is being recorded and we will provide the link to you afterwards so that you can review anything that you missed or share it with your colleagues. In addition, you can download the slides for today's presentation in the file downloads box, which you will see at the bottom left of your screen. All right, I think we are good to get started. And so I'm going to go ahead and pass the microphone over to Ed Salt uh, so that he can kick us off, go through the agenda and um, provide some information that you need for today. So Ed, please feel free to take it away. Thank you. Uh, I would really like to add my welcome uh, to this webinar, to the welcome that, uh, that Julie has provided. Um, I, as many of you may know, have worked with the policy division for a number of years in many of the internal events that the, the division uh, has done, including, and I, I have met many of you, including uh, the USAID internal training course that we did uh, last May. and I. I, uh, I recognize your names and I look forward to working with you again. As Julie said, um, I am helping with the, the agenda development, uh, which uh, as you'll see in our webinar today is, uh, has been a very interesting process and will continue to be uh, an interesting process. And uh, then in December I'll be uh, facilitating uh, the, uh, the partners meeting. So it's, uh, it's great to be here. Uh, as Julie laid out, we've got um, uh, three objectives for our, our webinar. I, I'd like to, and I think Jeff is going to reinforce this, the, our, our first objective really is to, to review some of what you have in your hands already that we sent uh, out with our, our recent email. Uh, but in reviewing those VFS policy priorities and progress, what we want to do is we want to squarely place the agenda of the meeting in those priorities and in the progress that we have all made. And so that's our purpose there, not to get into any substantive discussion really at this point. We're going to put the bulk of our time in the webinar to make sure that everyone's clear about what we're seeking to do um, and uh, what our agenda is. And then, as Julie said, uh, to give you an opportunity to, to ask questions about the meeting and particularly about the very, very important information that we're requesting from, uh, from you. So with, uh, with that, uh, can I turn it over to you, Jeff? OK, thank you, Ed. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to uh, all of the different partners out there, wherever you might be in many different parts of the world. One of the things that I wanted to just uh, initiate here is to provide a little bit of a background context to this partners meeting. Um, and sort of address the question of, well, why are we doing this partners meeting now? This is really the first of the uh, time we've actually held this type of a, you know, a policy partners meeting, right? We've all 
participated in previous partners meetings in one place or another. Uh, this is the first time we've done that. And, and one of the reasons why we're doing this right now is, is there is a really a clear recognition that there is a tremendous amount of work taking place on policy right now in many different parts of the world that has it's it in many ways is uh, unprecedented to see the level of effort you know taking place and really you know building upon your work you, this is things that you have been engaged to do you know and to help to advance this and you know second is that we think that there is a lot of progress that is actually being made in moving forward with the implementation of the kind of paradigm that we've been approaching you know the policy change agenda with you know and that and that this is a good learning moment, a time for actually taking stock of what you know is working, what needs to actually be you know attended to, and how can we actually take steps to really accelerate you know some of the implementation um, on the policy work uh, that is underway. You know, in addition to that, we you know we do know that there is, uh, and you can anticipate that there is a. There is an FTF-wide evaluation that's going to be taking place in 2016, you know, and one of the one of the things that will be looked into is well, what progress is being made on policy? What is the value of policy, you know, to you know this overall agenda? And you know, it's important that you know, that we all are you know, well prepared for being able to engage in that discussion in a in a coherent way, you know, so that the partners meeting we're really approaching this and trying to do this in a different way. Oftentimes, a partners meeting you know, is is held, and it is it leads to a sharing of information across the partners, and it doesn't get down to, in fact, solving some of the problems, and so or really building cooperation. And we're we're wanting to actually see this information sharing, but we really want to see this done before the meeting, so that we don't use the meeting for that kind of an exchange. We want each of you to become more familiar with you know the work that the others are doing that then will allow for a discussion about how can we actually deepen cooperation around some of the different topics so that we can accelerate implementation you know of this agenda uh, moving forward so we're going to talk about you know some of those steps that we're asking you to take before the meeting you know moving forward and the other thing that we're really looking for and coming out of this is to ensure that we're seeing an increased you know alignment of the work that's taking place with the priorities you know that are um, you know being uh, advanced at this you know the country regional and go uh, global level so we're gonna go through here fairly quickly or I'm going to actually spend a few minutes going through these you know a, a few slides right but but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these. These have been sent to you. You'll be able to actually review these at your leisure when you have some time. You'll be able to actually ask further clarifying questions. But I do want to, you know, just make sure that you know uh, we understand what is there in, in in terms of the material. We want to actually use this, you know, uh, exchange, you know, to try to actually hear from you questions that are helping you, you know, understand the preparations, you know, that is going to be most useful for the partners meeting and uh, to make sure that when we get to the partners meeting, we don't need to spend a lot of time, you know, dealing with uh, some of these fundamental uh, issues of having a common understanding. So really going through this, as many of you have, have know that, you know, we do actually, you know, have, have worked through um, a uh, a coordinated effort of putting in place a a policy uh, plan that does include you know uh, really the big building blocks right of a um, a prioritized agenda really working to actually strengthen the institutional architecture for policy uh, change to take place and ensuring that we have mutual accountability systems taking place these are important ingredients coming together you know for being able to uh, see uh, real policy you know, change occur. That is the approach that we've been moving forward. These, you know, in there we have, you know, identified, right, what are, uh, you know, from, you know, working with uh, the field, with countries, with missions, with partners, you know, the different uh, seven areas that are being focused on. Um, and that does include, you know, the whole process of institutional reform, you know, and, uh, and in there, you know, is uh, uh, issues of how are we actually, you know, uh, building the mutual accountability for 
uh, making the systems work. The enabling environment for private sector investment, agricultural trade, agricultural inputs, land and natural resources, tenure rights, resilience, and agricultural risk management and nutrition is some of the di different uh, core uh, policy areas and objectives where we've built actually a commitment of a whole of government you know, uh, to uh, this agenda and are you know, ourselves, you know, actually putting in place systems for accountability. You know, the next uh, slide really provides you with a coverage of what are the different countries. These are the countries and the missions in those countries that are moving these different issues forward. Who has these issues on the table and are working on these? I think that uh, many of you are well aware of this. You are working with these different, you know, countries uh, and missions and being able to advance this. This gives you a sense of the coverage, you know, that is actually, um, uh, you know, provided you know, by this agenda, you know, moving forward. You know, where we are seeing, you know, in uh, some of these areas is that recently, as many of you may know, that we have uh, put in place a, a reporting process that uh, we are going to be, you know, getting an annual reporting from each one of the different missions in countries on the status of the policy, you know, change taking place. This information is really taken, right, from uh, submissions you know, from the individual countries and missions about how they're doing on the different issues uh, that are being moved forward. And so that you can, you know, see here work that is taking place on the, the seed policy and the range of different issues that are moving forward and where we're seeing progress and where we're not seeing progress really being uh, advanced uh, on some of this. We see, you know, also the work that's taking place on fertilizer policy and the different kinds of issues, you know, that are receiving attention uh, that are there. Uh, these, pri these priorities have not been made in isolation sitting here in Washington or, you know, actually also just, you know, looking at it from an academic point of view. These are, these are different issues that have been worked through, you know, with the countries and the missions to uh, offer the greatest value added, you know, to their uh, portfolios of investment and in being able to move forward and viewed as some of the major constraints to the success. Uh, so we, we, we also see the work on trade and the progress being made in those different areas that are uh, receiving attention, you know, by countries uh, that are there. I want to actually just clarify in terms of interpreting some of this is that it does have a category where we see that there is actual policy change that has occurred. There is, you know, progress you know, there is it, progress being made and it is viewed as on target. There is progress being made, it's being behind target, and then there's some issues that, are, that have been put on hold. You know, fundamentally when we look at the progress being made, some of the behind target is that there were unreal ambitions that were set in terms of some of the different timelines for securing the change, you know, to occur or other uh, kinds of issues. But, but importantly, it does actually reflect, you know, uh, progress being made. You know, I think importantly also what we're, you know, noting here is is just in fact the amount of work that is in, you know, that is taking place in progress on these different, uh, these different uh, issues uh, moving forward. We also see, you know, work that is moving forward on the land policy, you know, uh, you know, taking place and, you know, where we're, you know, uh, moving this. Uh, similarly, with the risk management and resilience policy, you know, that is um, uh, being tracked uh, on this. Uh, we have, and, and we, you know, are looking at the different issues on the nutrition uh, policy. Uh, so these are issues where we have set and, you know, are, you know, um, moving forward with them. You know, we are, you know, uh, anticipating, uh, you know, engagement with different countries and missions to better learn you know, how, uh, you know, the, how much progress is being made and, you know, whether in some of these issues where they are either on hold or behind target, whether there are adjustments in the framing of the policies and setting actions. Mutual accountability targets, we see, you know, tremendous progress being made, you know, there, especially in Africa, where we're, you know, seeing um, a real embracing of the, you know, the joint sector reviews and the moving forward with the implementation of the uh, Malibu Declaration and establishing, you know, biannual review uh, systems uh, uh, for that. Um, so that provides you with a, a little bit of a, you know, an overview of what's actually taking place. We will be actually following up with you, you know, to in fact provide more granularity, you know, of these details uh, before the, 
before the partners meeting. Ed?
engage in some of the discussions. We're also going to actually be focusing on a set of um, other um, you know, partners that we're working with that are not necessarily direct, uh, that are receiving funding, but are, that are important partners in implementation. So we are looking at you know, engaging um, a, a number, uh, a, a really a sample more of you know, real decision makers from uh, the various developing countries and at a, at a continental level. Uh, in Africa that would be able you know, to engage um, uh, in some of the discussions of what is it you know, that is going to be most useful and meaningful and in terms of being able to advance uh, some of the different policy issues. So a range of uh, people who are there. We're, we're working to keep it to a working you know, uh, set of sessions and not a conference, right? Um, and that uh, you know, we will you know, be, uh, you know, continuing to pay attention to that. Uh, we are, you know, uh, Duncan, uh, looking at the issue and happy to have a discussion, you know, about <clears throat> uh, several additional people that, you know, would be able to bring a country perspective and really, you know, the learning of these different uh, lessons of what is working and what is it, you know, what do we need to do in being able to move forward with that. So, <clears throat> so I think that that's an issue. And, and I think that uh, uh, Jean had also asked a question about can we propose some bilateral meetings. What we really want to do is to hear from you about what are the topics that you would like to actually <clears throat> have a discussion with with other partners. We would like to build an agenda around some of those so that it's not hallway discussions, but rather they are really concrete discussions taking place, we would like to actually ensure that there are a series of topics that, that there is discussion taking place across the different partners that will lead to some concrete actions moving from the meeting that people will actually take together, they will actually agree you know, to move you know, some of the issues forward. One of my ambitions you know, for this meeting is that we find ways of being able to crowd in attention you know, to some of the key policy issues where we know that there is a ripe opportunity for being able to make progress on them and that we figure out that does really, really require some coordination you know, across many different groups and levels and how do we actually accomplish some of that on the ground technically with different partners. I don't, I don't believe that dividing the agenda, you know, just by an individual looking after one piece, is <clears throat> necessarily the most effective way of of seeing the kind of momentum <clears throat> momentum built on, you know, getting this policy change. How do we actually build some of this, you know, partnership to advance uh, some of these issues there? So we welcome, you know, your thoughts on what are critical issues, you know, to move forward. We've proposed four, five, or six, we're going to be looking at what you submit to us so that that will inform the agenda you know, of the discussions um, moving, um, moving forward on this. Yeah. Um, I also just wanted to actually you know, try to you know, uh, hone in on our, you know, the outcomes that we're really you know, seeking is what I'd said earlier is that we are seeking you know, to get some concrete actions being taken, you know, after the meeting that you are coming, you know, prepared to say how can we actually advance these issues and, you know, work through discussions with some of the other, the other uh, partners that are there. We're also very much wanting to actually see what is it that we can actually do, you know, to you know, ensure that the different priority areas that have been identified as critical barriers for the success of this agenda at the country you know, and regional level that they are actually receiving attention, that we are actually paying attention to those things that have actually emerged you know, as uh, critical uh, barriers to the success you know, of this overall FTF and you know, the country's uh, plans and, and priorities. So uh, uh, Julie, do we have more questions?
And, and Julie, I just if anybody has any specific questions about what we're requesting on uh, November 17th, we'd certainly be happy to entertain those. Sure. Absolutely. I do think that we would, you know, certainly encourage um, you to, you know, propose, you know, uh, side meetings. You know, this is a this is a real value of this of being able to have these discussions with various, you know, partners on that. Uh, so, you know, we want to encourage you to both reach out to, you know, uh, to others, but we would like to actually know. What are the different uh, side meetings being proposed so that you know we can um, uh, help facilitate or support those you know as uh, as best we can? Yes. So um, as all of you know. We have uh, a uh, a review taking place of, in fact, this fuller um, policy portfolio. Uh, it is ongoing now, um, and that uh, review will be complete, you know, before this meeting, uh, so that it will be one of the topics that will be on the agenda for discussion. Uh, they are uh, really looking at you know, the work being done. They will uh, be providing comments about uh, your work um, and will provide and organize some comments that are explicitly for you um, as uh, various partners as they will also be reviewing what we're doing and how we're doing it inside of USAID and provide us with you know recommendations as well so that will be one of the points of discussion um, at the uh, at the meeting Yeah, we would like to actually see you know the work that's taking place on the institutional architecture of you know um, building the you know the different policy processes as a as a real focal point you know for discussion among uh, a number of the different partners who are working on this, um, including you know how do we actually uh, measure and track progress on this? So uh, the answer to that is yes. Uh, that's the kind of thing that we would look. You know, to actually see um, a concrete discussion take place about how to um, how to work on and move uh, that forward.
Yeah, just uh, you know, uh, a little bit of a synopsis to say what we've actually said. We are, you know, really looking for you to actually complete some of the information requested from you. We will actually review.